Okay, in this video we're going to do another geometric construction. Um, in this case, uh, we're going to construct a perpendicular line from uh, when we're given a point and a line. So we want the perpendicular through a point um, to a particular line. So we have basically this situation. Um, and the way we do this, uh, if you know how to construct a midpoint, uh, it's really, really similar. So what we'll do is I'm going to start off, I'm going to put an extra point on uh, this just so that I can fix my compass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from C to D, make a circle uh, with a compass. So from C to D, well actually I'm going to go from D to C, pops up, and then I'm going to click again to fix it there. So I have that. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to find this intersection point right here. Okay, so I have that. And now what I'm basically going to do is uh, the same deal that I did when I found the midpoint of a segment. So I want to find the midpoint of um, DE. And if I can find the midpoint of DE, that'll allow me to draw a line segment through that, um, through the midpoint and C, and that line will be perpendicular to AB. And then I'll be done. So let's try to do that. So uh, first I'm going to go from E to D and click. Then I'm going to go from D to E, and uh, did I miss it? And click. Okay. So first thing I did was I started at point C, and I went from C to D, and made a circle, and then I found the intersection, the additional intersection at E, and then I used uh, D to E to make one circle, E to D to make another circle, and then what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to find an intersection, any intersection of this circle and this circle will allow me to draw the perpendicular. So I'm gonna use the one that's down here because it's the most obvious, I guess. That, um, now if I use this tool to create a line, well, obviously I could just use the perpendicular line tool, GeoGebra. Um, so I click that, and so my claim is that uh, this line will be, you can see the way that I'm doing these constructions, sometimes they disappear. So if I go, whoops, because the things I used to construct it are gone, won't work. But if I find this point uh, right here, and all I gotta do is measure this angle, it should be 90 degrees, and it should stay 90 degrees forever. And there you go, 90 degrees. So if I move this, it stays 90 degrees. So there you go. Um, turns out you use like tons of circles when you're doing constructions. Which makes sense because you're using a straight edge and a compass, and a compass really is just a tool that creates circles. Um, in the real world, you don't make the entire circle, you just swing out tiny little arcs. Um, but I don't have that option because I'm using GeoGebra. But anyway, there's your construction of a line perpendicular to a given line through a given point. Hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.